okay this overgrown like too many bangs and like braid look is really giving me alien from witch vibes um let me know if you remember that am i like dating myself here let me know in the comments so hi um today i wanted to talk to you about how i got my bachelor's degree in two and a half years um i have a couple of caveats for this video and i'm just gonna get them off my chest in the first 30 seconds <laughs> so number one this is not me trying to like tell you that there is a certain way or time span that like is appropriate or like acceptable for you to get your degree in this is not me saying like you should do this because this path is not for everyone i'm tremendously lucky that i was able to do this um this is not me saying like i'm better than anyone for getting it done faster because it's certainly not how that works um however this um is what i did and it worked really well for me and honestly if i had to do it again i would so i just wanted to share kind of how i did it um with tips starting in high school um so for some of you this may be like kind of shit out of luck but um yeah i just wanted to tell you that up front okay that's enough caveats let's get started so um my first tip is okay first I'm, I'm gonna tell you a brief like summary of everything that i did so i started um college um with a psychology i came in as a psychology and women's studies major um my freshman year which was fall of 2018 and um i pretty much immediately that semester switched to an english major and then moved my women's studies major to a minor um and i carried on like that and then I think by the winter of winter semester of 2019, um, no, spring semester of 2019, I had taken away the minor and decided that I was gonna graduate in two and a half years. Um, and I'd done all the math on that. So I did basically school straight from August of 2018 to right now, which is December of 2020. So I did all of the summer semesters that were offered, um, took summer semesters every semester that I could. Um, I did 16 to 18 credit hours every semester that I was like in school. So, um, and that is definitely a caveat I will give you is that if I was um, in a, perhaps a different major and certainly if I had done a minor or a second major, never would have been able to do this. I have loads of friends in STEM and they just like, there's no way that they could have done that with like the way that their lab hours work out and they're just oh oh stem majors shout out to you don't know how you're doing it but i'm glad someone is um finally my big tip and something that was very very helpful for me but might be like if you're watching this video and you're already in college a little too late um in high school you have at least in my state um options between AP classes and college credit plus classes. So with the AP classes, um, you know the drill, you're gonna take the class through, through your high school at the end of the year, you take the big AP test. If you get a certain score and you go to a certain college, then you get credit for a certain course. Um, and I did that for uh, my sophomore and junior year. And then my senior year, I looked into doing college credit plus, um, which is where like through a local university, you do some of your GE credits. And um, that was super helpful for me. I got easily a full semester out of the way on that, um, which is with like your basic GEs um, and in a very affordable way because in my state, like they have a program where it's free for you to do that. Um, so I was very lucky in that way. So if you are in high school and you have the chance, um, don't do AP. AP is a scam. <laughs> um, I mean, if you don't have a college credit plus option, then obviously like do AP. But if you have a choice between the two, just do CCP. AP involves you having to just do so much. There's so much involved in an AP exam that is just exhausting and awful and miserable. And you got to get like, if you pass the CCP class, you, you're good. You're, you're in the bag. But if you like, you can do a whole year in this AP class and do great and then like not get just miss the 
score that you need for that class by like one point on the exam and then it's like it was all for nothing so if you're in high school and you do have the chance to take college credit plus classes or whatever that looks like in your state i do really 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 recommend that um this is like that's like the key thing um finally my last big overarching point is that i know this sounds stupid of me to say given what i've just like been ex expounding upon but college is not a race education is not a competition um, there are many who would prefer it and like it to be that way, and that's simply not how it works. Um, education is about, like, just, at least for me, the joy of learning. And that's just one of the dorkiest sentences that have ever just left my mouth. But I love learning, and I just want to do as much of it as possible, and I'm so happy that I got to, you know, get my degree in this way with the classes that I got to take and with the people that I got to take them with. You know, I just love school. <laughs> A girl loves school. What can I say? Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry if there's mixed up continuity in this video. My friend called me halfway through filming that one and we talked for like half an hour. I miss my friends so much, guys. Um, I can't wait for COVID to be over. <sighs> feels endless, doesn't it? It really does feel endless, but we're almost there. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, um, as we head into December. I hope you're having a good holiday, um, jingle bells and all that. Um, we've got our first snow outside right now and it's so cute. Um, I love it. My favorite time of year is right now. So, very happy about that. I hope you guys are all good. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you very soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!